Hi Libra, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're going to look at what's going on for you for the month of December. This reading is for whenever you see it till whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you want to go back and watch past readings, I'd say please feel free to do that. Uh, playlists are below in the description box. So we're going to look at your situation. Whatever comes out here it could be love. It could be career finance. It could be something to do with your family, your friends. It even could be uh, past, present, or future. Or it could be something going on with somebody that you know, someone that's around you. It could be affecting you in some way. So please keep all that in mind. Only take what resonates. Throw away the rest, including the signs mentioned. And uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so every little thing may not resonate for you. So please keep that in mind also. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy happy fall. Happy December. Okay, so this will be up in now, in no, the end of November. So, okay. Libra, what's going on? What's going on with Libra? We could get a sign, element, planet. Um, we're going to look at your situation here, what your energy is like. Um, Leo. And then advice for you, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot and oracle cards. So please stay tuned. So we have Leo. So you could have a Leo around you in some way. And I believe I got Leo for you in another past reading I did. It might have been a general reading. Right there, Leo. So that's so funny because I am a Leo and my oldest sister is a Libra. So it could be a friend, family, co-worker, um, significant other. could be anybody. Or you could have Leo in your chart or know somebody has who has heavy Leo in their chart. Leo does represent strength in the major arcana in the regular tarot. So there could be something uh, coming up that you're going to need a lot of strength and endurance for. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on with Libra. Let's get an opening message for you, Libra. Let's get an opening message for Libra. What do you need to know at this time? Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, so I think here, and you know, the fire signs are all about that fiery, passionate energy, determination, strength, bravery, to uh, go after what they want, a lot of determination, ambition. So you may be uh, having to step out of your comfort zone and do something maybe that you're not comfortable with. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Stepping out of your comfort zone. You may want to look at um, North Node. That's about moving forward. So moving forward and stepping out of your comfort zone. You may want to look up your birth chart, see what uh, sign is in your North Node. Maybe it's Leo. Okay, so... Let's get an energy. Why is this energy here? Wow. So, oh my God. Don't let the past hold you back. South node. Holy crap. I can't make this up. Don't let the past hold you back. South node. Step out of your comfort. North zone. And I was just going to say, um, if you feel like you're moving backwards, that's probably because you're stepping back, like down back. Like the south node is like stepping backwards, like like retrograding, not moving forward. Like, so yeah, don't let the past hold you back here. Wow, I can't make this up. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. Wow, so there's something here I think that you really want, that you really want to go for. And you may be self-doubting yourself. You may be thinking, oh, it's not going to happen. It's impossible. Um, maybe you don't feel like you can do it, like you don't feel strong enough, but all these messages here, spirit is telling you, no, you can do it. Step out of that comfort zone and don't let the past hold you back. So whatever happened in the past, if people told you you weren't good enough or you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, spirit saying, oh no, 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 yes you can. Don't let that hold you back. Believe in the impossible. Wow, so let's see what's going on here for you, Libra. I'm getting like be fiery like a lion. Oh, I just had a song come to my head. Um, shine bright like a diamond. But instead of diamond, Leo, like lion, was shine bright like a lion. <laughs> okay, spirit. <laughs> 
All right. Let's see. Libra, why is this energy here? Don't let the past hold you back. Wow. So we have the High Priestess here. So you may have secrets from your past, but you really, really need to listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, what you feel is right, best for you. This can be secrets. So maybe there's secrets about your past that you feel like is holding your future back. Um, here with the High Priestess, that's Cancer or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Uh, let's see. Let's get another one. Wow, the Ace of Cups. So... Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but it doesn't have to be. No, this can. This is a brand new beginning that's divinely guided for you here with the Ace of Cups. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. This is like totally being aligned here with the universe and doing what's right and best and just for you. Don't let the past hold you back if you have secrets, whatever they may be, to this Ace of Cups. It's total fulfillment, self-love, self-value, self-worth spiritual awakening spiritual rebirth energy also could be so let's get a couple more to clarify this three of swords yes yeah, sorrow pain something very hurtful and painful here could be from your past and spirit saying you know as painful hurtful as your past was whatever it was for you that you can have this ace of cups here all right so let's get one more Two of one, so making decisions and plans here, choices, you know, needing to make decisions here, uh, moving forward in that fiery energy. I, th I feel like you have some very painful, hurtful feelings, things that happened to you in the past. I don't know what they were here. Could have been in love. It could have been something else. Somebody hurt you in some way, and I feel like maybe you never told anybody. But moving forward and stepping out of your comfort zone is going to lead you to self-fulfillment here with the Ace of Cups of a whole new world, whole new way, whole new beginning for you. Having, again, like that self-worth, love, compassion for yourself and others. All right, so let's see. Believe in the impossible. Anything is possible. All right, so let's see what your actual situation is. So death and rebirth here. Scorpio energy. This is the judgment card, so, no, this is death, this is death. So yeah, Scorpio. So yeah, this is about an ending of some kind, something that just ended. There could have been an actual death that hurt you deeply, but I don't think it would be a secret, or um, this just could be, you know, something that, that you kept secret here maybe just ended and, you know, now you have a rebirth, you have um, transformed out of that energy, have a whole new beginning here with this Ace of Cups. So let's get a couple more. Wow, so now we have the Devil and the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups energy here, I mean, this could be a love situation. Um... I mean, the Three of Swords can speak of third party. So I don't know if you were in some kind of third party situation before and it was a secret. And then you ended that situation. You decided here with the Two of Wands to end it. What you felt like it was a soulmate here, uh, loving real a soulmate, but you knew it was toxic here with the devil energy and the best thing to do was to end it. And maybe nobody knew about it except for you and your person and maybe just a couple of close friends here. I don't know. It could be that or it could be here um, just deciding here to end toxic ways that are no longer serving you. People, places, things, uh, habits, energies. And Two of Cups just being aligned with yourself and doing what's best for you and feeling good about yourself that now you feel like you're much more happier and a happy place that you made those decisions to get rid of these toxic energies that were causing you nothing but heartbreak sorrow. So I got two different energies here. I mean, some of you, this could be ending. You decided to end a third party. Secret, 
situation. Some of you decided to end toxic energies around you that were no longer serving you. You know, and it could have been secret, uh, secret energies, you know, things that happened you never told anybody from toxic people, places or things. You kept it to yourself. But deciding to end those situations, being totally aligned with yourself, only keeping the people around you that are good for you, not bad for you, so that you can have this Ace of Cups of total peace, happiness, joy, fulfillment, compassion, and love for you and those that you to, do truly love and are truly good for you, not bad for you. So however that resonates for you. And it could be about, again, this person um, maybe you were involved with secretly. So let's get a couple more to clarify this situation. So we got the Princess of Swords. So this is the Page of Swords. So this is truthful, honest, open communication. Um, can be spying on somebody here or learning new things online, going online, using that sword here to transform yourself. You see the butterfly there, cut away things no longer serving you. Cutting away this Three of Swords energy that did nothing but hurt you. Like I said, could be a, could have been a secret lover. It could have been close family and friends that you said, you know, I can't abandon them because they're family, they're friends. But no, Spirit says if they're toxic to you and they do you more harm than good, you can cut those ties. You can take this sword and sever those ties that bind and make that decision. Let's get one more. Seven of Pentacles energy here. So this could be energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn doesn't have to be. Um, we have we have all the suits here now. So these this could be anybody. But you know, the Seven of Pentacles energy is like investing, investing, and waiting and waiting for things to harvest, to bloom, to grow. Yeah, failure. This says failure. So I feel like, you know... Those that are around you that have failed you over and over with this toxic energy. Yeah, I feel like with death here, you're just going to decide you could be in this process now, cutting away. That does not serve you anymore. And stepping out of that comfort zone, maybe you always thought, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. And now you're like, you know what, I'm at the point where all this past bullshit is just holding me back, dragging me down. I can do the impossible and I can do this. I can free myself of this energy and step out of my comfort zone and move forward. North note about moving forward, moving forward, positive movement forward. All right. So let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice for Libra, the hermit Virgo energy here. Yeah. So this is, you know, thinking, reflecting, Doing that inner deep soul searching work, finding your way, finding your light, spending time alone. So that's your advice so far to do what you need to do to get your total joy and happiness and, fill, and fulfillment in every single way. What's best for you to get your satiety, to get your fulfillment in every single way. You're going to need to go in and do that inner work and say, okay, what do I need to release and what do I need to keep that is going to serve me and make me happy? and rid me of all these past toxic, hurtful energies so that I can move forward in a better place, not just for me, but my other loved ones around me moving forward. Wow, okay, that's coming from spirit. So let's see, Eight of Cups, yeah, exactly, walking away from things no longer serving you, no longer fulfilling for you. And by walking away from these eight cups, these cups that don't serve you, you will walk into your ten of cups of being much more happier. All right, so what else? Ace of Wands, so another brand new beginning here. You're going to feel fiery again, as with the Leo energy, full of life and passion and the zest for life again. So much more in a positive energy, you know, having new ideas, having new um, adventure, just living life again and not being burdened by all this negative toxic energy all right so two brand new beginnings there yeah because we had yeah the ace of cups and the ace of wands so feeling full of love compassion peace happiness faith spirituality passion and zest for life again living life again true to you and not 
in this energy of these failures that don't serve you. People, places, things. All right, so what is your possible outcome? Yes, there we go, Ten of Wands. Laying down the burdens that no longer serve you. The oppression, getting rid of it. Laying down all that that is weighing you down, burdening you down. Too heavy to carry anymore. I just can't do it. I can't be around this negative energy anymore. It's just oppressing me instead of uplifting me. Wow, okay, let's get a couple more for your outcome, possible outcome, Libra. The Hierophant. So again, connecting with your faith, your spirituality, doing what's moral, just, and right, being committed to your own happiness and those that do make you happy and that kind of energy. So, yep. Yeah. And Spirit wants you to know this is a very spiritual energy also. It's okay to do this. It's okay to do what's best for you and being committed to that. All right, so... I mean, the hierarchy can talk about marriage or like commitment or something like that. So I don't know if that means anybody to any. Uh, and as I said, that the four of wands comes out, which is about marriage, ceremony, celebrations, um, home, stability in the home life. I think it'd be completion. So it's like karmic completion there. So yeah, getting rid of these negative failed karmic connections, people, places, things that are no longer serving you. So you can be better in your home life. You can be more stable and grounded. Be more committed just to those that lift you up and are good for you and not bad for you. Okay, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Like I said, this could be, I'm getting more, it's like maybe family or friends. For some of you, it could be a secret lover um, or just leaving a toxic job. And moving on from that, you know, stepping out of your comfort zone, thinking you could never move to something new, but Spirit's like, yes, you can do it. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Truce, Four of Swords. So, you know, this is about, again, taking time alone, like the Hermit energy, thinking, contemplating, healing, rejuvenating, relaxing, thinking things over. You know, standing up for yourself here with the Seven of Wands, being defensive, maybe standing your ground, need to, needing to stand your ground here. Seven of Cups, you know, confusion, options, decisions kind of energy. So weighing out the pros and cons, making these decisions, maybe being a little confused. But here's the Queen of Swords. Now you're the Queen of Swords. And that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, is taking that sword and cutting out those things that no longer serve you. Speaking with truth and clarity. Standing up for yourself and not taking any BS. No stress, anxiety through this whole thing of the past, things of the past, moving forward. You know, you may have a little fear, stress, worry, anxiety, nervous energy. But you will have total happiness and joy here in every single way. And wish, wishes and dreams coming true moving forward. And Six of Cups, you know, returning back to your home maybe, um, coming back together with old families and friends, uh, family and friends from your past, from your you know childhood home, thinking back fondly. Happiness and joy, wish fulfillment, a little bit of worry, stress, anxiety as you cut away things no longer serving you. A little confused, but defending yourself. And really taking a deep look here and deciding what you need to do and what's best for you, Libra. Okay, Libra, I'm going to get some extra messages here from the numerology deck. But I do ask if, you, um, if you're new and you like my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for every sign. I do a general tarot forecast. I do a love connection. Do a singles who's coming towards you. And messages from spirit, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you would like all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And I also ask that you check the description box below. Lots of stuff there, um, personal reading information, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff. And a quick shout out to all those who have supported the channel. Thank you so much for helping in the channel's growth, being a part of that. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. So what do we have here? 
So we have environment, 44, and four is about stability, the basis and the foundation. So something in your environment here. And if you add eight, to, you wouldn't normally add that together because it's a double number, but if you do, it's eight, and eights are about movement, travel, action, communication. So I definitely th feel things will be more stable for you in your environment if you clear away the things no longer serving you. All right, so let's get... Let's get another message for Libra. Spirituality. Yep, so we have the Hierophant there. So connecting with your faith, your spirituality, listening with the High Priestess there. You've got your intuition. Seven double numbers here, 44, 7-7. Seven, seven. You may want to look those up. Um, angel numbers. Seven is a very spiritual, divinely guided number. Purple is about manifesting. So make sure you're connecting with Source here, with spirituality. All right, so anything else here? Effort, putting in that effort. 13 is four, stability again, basis foundation. So putting in that effort, doing what you need to do in your environment to get more stable. And divinely guided energies will come in for you, so believe in the impossible. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. Health, so maybe something about your health. Maybe this is just affecting your health. We did have the Nine of Swords. Um, under here, which can affect your health. And we have eight, seven, and one, eight. So again, about travel, action, communication. So I feel like all this toxic energy um, that is no longer serving you, you need to step out of your comfort zone and actually cut those ties that are harming you. And you may feel like you can't do that, but Spirit says, yes, you can. Just believe that you can. Wow. Okay, Libra. Well, best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.